a paradoxical gift. We all have loved deeply and have been heartbroken or felt betrayed, disappointed, isolated and alone in the midst of a crowd, put down by a major criticism, especially from close ones, those hurt the most. We all have at some point in time in our lives have fallen face down with bruised knees and elbows and have been scarred. All this have led to pain, shame, guilt, you name it. Most of this had caused us to disconnect or refrain from taking the risk to get hurt again. Here's the thing about pain. No matter how badly we desire to have a world without pain, it's yet one of the best gifts of God to us. There's a disease called congenital insensitivity to pain. A person cannot feel and has never felt physical pain. A person that cannot feel pain may not respond to problems, those being at a higher risk of severe diseases. Let's understand that pain is necessary for us to respond. It's a sign that we are alive. If we don't feel pain, we will be as the rocks on the seashore who never respond to the bashing of the waves against them, but silently change shape as they get hit hard. Being alive gives us the privilege to respond when we get hit hard and choose what shape we will take. Pain is a very important sign in life. It conveys messages at every point in time. Take time to find them out. We need to embrace pain as a process indicating us to respond and not to run away or shut down. We need to identify the pain, whether it's indicating for us to either take time off and surround ourselves with our close ones and recover, or to ramp up and push further into progress. You could pray for courage today. Father, thank you for this life and the signs that let me know that I am alive. Thank you for the spirit of the of comforter who brings comfort to me in the midst of tribulations in my life. I pray that you give me boldness to not shield from pain, but go all in through it, that I will learn to feel the pain in the moment and respond, rather than live in the pain and be bitter. <laughs>